Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this quadrilateral A, B, C, D as you can see in this diagram such that this uh, side length uh, B, C is 18 units, this side length uh, C, D is uh, 25 units and moreover this side length uh, A, D is uh, 11 units. And now we are going to calculate this side length AB, which is represented by X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's the very first thing we are going to do. Let's draw a line segment DE that is parallel to AB. Let's go ahead and draw this uh, line segment uh, DE where E is some point is over here and here's our much nicer looking diagram and we can see that this uh, triangle DEC is a right triangle since this angle is 90 degrees and now let's observe this thing this side length is 11 this whole side length is 18 so therefore this side length uh, CE is going to be 18 minus 11 is going to be 7 units and moreover we know that these side lengths AB and DE are parallel to each other. These angles A and B are 90 degrees so therefore this side length AB and this side length DE are equal. And we know that this side length AB is X units, so this uh, side length D has got to be X units uh, as well. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, DEC. And we know that this is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem. A square plus B square equal to C square where C is our longest leg that is going to be this side let me go ahead and call this side A and this side B so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula A in our case is X so this is going to become X square plus B in our case 7 so this is going to become 7 square equal to C is 25 and then whole square Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. So x squared, this is going to become plus 49 equal to 625. Let's go ahead and subtract 49 from both sides. This is gone. So therefore, x squared turns out to be 576. Take a square root on both sides to undo this uh, square. So this square and square root, this is gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be 24 units and this is a positive value since our side length is always positive. So therefore our this x value turns out to be 24 units since this is same as this one. So this has got to be 24 units as well. So thus our x value turns out to be 24 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.